Well, also this weekend, Kylian oh. Mbappe will be staying at PSG, really? making no. his announcement. Mundo Deportivo uh, saying that he stays. Meanwhile, as saying uh, it's his loss. Of course, Madrid race newspaper uh, marker pushing a little further. It takes class to play for Madrid. A lot of class. A lot of class. Uh, Frank. Luis and Jules, we're drawn to you, Jules, of course, because this is like Christmas birthday, the whole shebang rolled into one, isn't it, for you? <laughs> it was a pretty spectacular day yesterday, I have to say. It made me work hard because we, we were amongst others, not just us, but to break the story when, when we were told that it was, it was happening, he was staying. Uh, and then we also had the story of Leonardo being sacked and Luis Campos arriving as a sporting director, which is a change that Kylian Mbappe wanted. And this is where we go down to, it's not just about the money here. And yet the money is huge. It's a huge three-year deal with huge signing on fees and huge wages, over 50 million net a year. But the Real Madrid offer was, was really huge as well. What I think is fascinating is that Kylian Mbappe will be more than a just more than a player. He will take part in a lot of decisions that we've seen already. He extends his deal, Leonardo is sacked. And it's partly because Kylian Mbappe didn't want to work with Leonardo anymore. Kylian Mbappe wanted Luis Campos as a sporting director. Luis Campos would be appointed, he's, he's been agreed today, tonight. He will be appointed very soon now. So this is now a new galaxy where players are more than just players on the pitch. But this doesn't work, Jules. Mm. PSG have been the perfect example of this not working. We've heard managers come out and talk about this. And like, like, why do PSG think this is going to work this time? They're doubling on down on giving Mbappe the power to do everything. It's a very good question. It's a good point. I guess time, time will tell. That's all we can say right now. We don't know if it's going to work, if it works, how well it will work, if it's not going to work at all, and if it doesn't work, if it's a full disaster or half a disaster, of course. We don't know yet, but you're right. They, I think they've been burned before, and yet they go again into the fire, and this time they give, they give the keys and everything to one player. As good as he is and as young as he is, it's a big gamble. But we will have to see, I think, polit politically, to start with, for Qatar, it was very important that Kylian Mbappé remained the PSG player for the World Cup in November. So I think they were ready, and we've said that many times on the show, they were ready to give and to give up anything for that to happen. I think in terms of marketing and in terms of the image of the club, having Kylian Mbappe, a Paris born and bred kid staying in the capital is also very important. And then sporting wise, I'm, I, I don't know how you replace him if he leaves. I just don't know who you go, you, go, you go to get. And again, we discussed that at length on the show. Where do you go next if Kylian Mbappe goes? So they sorted that by giving him basically anything he wanted. Frank? Well, there are many things that I want to say because that's not the first time so somebody holds the team and almost all the club. You know, let's say, let's talk about Leo, Leo, Leo Messi, for example. I think when he was at Barcelona, he was doing almost everything. I think Maradona, when he played for Na Naples, he was doing everything. Platini was selecting all the players he wanted for the national team. I'm pretty sure Beckenbauer was doing the same when he was playing for Bayern Munich. Uh, it's not the first time we see that. And that's... People are getting upset because Mbappe was in the middle of a negotiation like you normally do. And uh, because he decided to not go to one of the biggest clubs, if it's not the biggest club in the world, people get upset and, get, and start insulting him. It's negotiation. He wants to write history for Paris. He's from Paris. So I don't understand people. You can be sad or happy if, if you're on the, a Parisian uh, fan. Uh, or, or, or like me, you don't care, but just see that and, and accept the decision of somebody. You don't have to sign for Real Madrid if you don't have everything you want. Saying that he signed for the money, that's untrue. As Joe said, you know, he would have gotten 100 million signing for Real Madrid. That's not money, that's what, that just coins? No, that's a lot of money. So I think it goes everywhere where we try to find why and how come Kylian Mbappe didn't sign for Real Madrid. But, you know, he wants to write something. He wants to have some decision. He thinks that he can change something. And people don't know the future. Nobody can write the future. Nobody can guess the future. We don't know what's going to happen next season with Madrid. I don't know if uh, Benzema will do miracles like he, does, he did this season. And we don't know if Paris 
we don't find, uh, we'll find something special, we'll make that being successful in Europe. But I think you are just have to accept the decision of that guy, and if he has to design, it's maybe better than what we saw before. So maybe he's clever enough to do better than Leonardo. <laughs> so and we'll see. What, so we'll see what the future is. If he was happy in PSG and if he wanted to write his name as a legend at the club and he wanted to help them get success in the Champions League, why even let it get to this stage? Why even bother, Frank? Why not sign that contract earlier, get it done and move on with your lives? Why all this flirting with Real Madrid? It's got to be money, hasn't it? He's used flirting. Real Madrid as a tool to get as much money as possible. And there's no problem with that. No problem whatsoever. But the fact that you're no. saying, look, he wants to be at PSG. He wants to cement, cement and do something special at the club. What? That's just suddenly, he just suddenly decided that? Then why even talk to somebody else? But because it's, it's called a negotiation. So I mean, he used uh, Real like Madrid. Everybody, used it, everybody uh, else Real Madrid was just a pawn in all of this. No, why do you say use? <laughs> no, he didn't use them. He listened to them <laughs> and he didn't yeah, agree yeah, with yeah, them. That's them. it. Maybe he didn't have what... It, it, well, no, 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 no. It, you listen to them and with all due respect, like he, like he said in his... Uh, in his um, uh, he made a statement about that, a public statement, that he, he, he didn't use them, he listened to them, he, he's, he, he has big... He, he's going to support Real Madrid next uh, Saturday against Liverpool. Oh, great. But <laughs> he, he has something in his heart. Listen, in his heart, it's Paris Saint-Germain. Money-wise, of course, it will count. Of course, it will count. You know, and uh, but uh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't know what's going on. What's going to happen to Real Madrid next season as well? It is not going to be. It's going to be only one of them at Real Madrid. Where is going to be the star? Where is going to have a decision to make uh, like Leo Messi did, like, like I explained before? It's just that, and it's already settled. It's a big challenge. Who knows um, what Mbappe is going to do at Real Madrid? It's already settled. He, he, he signed, he said he stays, and he scored three goals. The guy feels at home. He's the king of the world in Paris Saint-Germain. And he scored so many goals this season on top of giving assists. So nobody would be, should criti criticize him in that way. And again, it, it's, it's a negotiation. When you sell your house, and you, because it's a friend, you're not going to listen to somebody who's going to offer you the double. You're stupid if you don't do that. So he's chosen the he's comfortable stupid. option. And he's, he's not he, using he, the he, other has one. He, has he chosen the comfortable option, Frank, instead of going for the challenge? Of course, in a way that is already, he knows the thing, he feels nice, and he's, he's, he does what he has to do. Again, he's, uh, he was the man. Last, at the beginning of the season, remember, when Messi came, he was booed by the fans. Remember that. He was booed. And it, it, it changed everything, working hard and being the king of it and erasing the others. And he signs for Paris, score, score a hat-trick, he's going to be the king. You don't want to be the king. Imagine, I don't, I don't, I don't, it's, it's very strange the way we, we, we try to analyze that. And I'm, I just want to say something. Stop insulting people when you don't know. First, we don't know the numbers. We don't exactly know the numbers, and we all know that Real Madrid would have, would have offered him like crazy money. It's not an easy decision to make. As he said, his dream when he was young was to sign for Real Madrid. But he feels good at Paris. He feels that there is, there is a, an ambition and they want to do something. Like Manchester City. Like, I'm not sure De Bruyne wants to leave Manchester City to go to Real Madrid. I don't know if, if, it's the, if, it's, if it's the possibility. I'm not sure. Because at the point, you feel that you can get something out of the club that you signed for. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.